Ever been in a crowded room and tried to have a private conversation? With so many people talking at the same time, it can be hard to hear. For a clear connection, spreading out into a less congested area makes sense. In the same way, wireless channels help devices communicate without interference. You could think of these channels as distinct lanes on a highway. By choosing the right lane or channel, data can travel smoothly. This is crucial for ensuring reliable connectivity, reducing interference, and improving speed, especially in environments with many devices. Setting up and fine-tuning wireless channels enhances your network's efficiency and strength, ensuring smooth communication for all connected devices. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain Cisco Business Wireless CBW access point channels. Next. When setting up your wireless network, there is no one magic channel to choose for optimal performance. There are just too many factors that come into play. In a business environment, interference can come from neighboring Wi-Fi networks, electronic devices, or even physical obstacles like walls. Such interference can slow down your network, leading to frustrating delays or dropped connections. To combat this, it's essential to select the right wireless channels. CBW access points offer channels in two main frequency bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. On the 2.4 gigahertz band, you can select channels from 1 to 11. While there are additional channels available, their availability depends on the region. In some parts of the world, channels up to 14 are offered, but only channels 1, 6, and 11 are considered non-overlapping in most regions. This makes them ideal choices to reduce interference. To explain this further, the following visual shows that the channels in the 2.4 gigahertz band are spaced five megahertz apart. Channel one has a frequency range from 2401 megahertz to 2423 megahertz. So channel five with its starting frequency of 2421 megahertz overlaps with channel one. But channel six starts at 2426 megahertz, which doesn't overlap with channel one. Similarly, Channel 11 starts at 2451 megahertz. It doesn't overlap with channel six. The 2.4 gigahertz channels cover a larger area and can give access to devices that are further from the access point. They can penetrate walls and other obstacles more effectively. Some older devices need 2.4 gigahertz for compatibility. If the primary use of your network is for low bandwidth applications like web browsing, email, or simple internet devices, this channel may be preferred since range can be more important than speed. The downside of the 2.4 gigahertz band is that it is more susceptible to interference because it is used by a lot of other devices such as microwaves and Bluetooth devices. Now, the 5 gigahertz band offers several advantages as well. One of the primary benefits is reduced congestion since it provides more available channels. This reduces the likelihood of interference from neighboring networks, enhancing the stability and speed of your connection. Speaking of speed, the 5 gigahertz band supports higher data rates, making it ideal for high bandwidth needs like video conferencing, cloud computing, and large file transfers. Many modern routers operating on the 5 gigahertz band also support advanced technologies like MUMIMO, which stands for multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. It allows simultaneous efficient data transmission to multiple devices. The shorter range compared to the 2.4 gigahertz band and the fact that it may not penetrate walls and obstacles as effectively makes it a good option if your router and devices are relatively close to each other and you need a stable and fast connection within this range. 
That's a quick overview of the advantages and limitations of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. Click the link in the description for part two, where I'll explain wireless channel configuration options on your CBWAP. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.